Today starts a new era in Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, and let me explain why. Let's jump into this banner. This banner is from outer space. Starting from the weapons, Twinkling Star is one of the best things I have seen in a while. Let me explain. The stats are mid. They are like, okay-ish. 530, 415, 233. So they are not the best stats that we have seen, for example, when it comes to physical attack. Um, sounds like the best stats that we have seen is like 583 or 570, right? So this scores in a stats, it's a score in the lower end. But forget about the stats for a second. The stats are not the primary thing that we are interested about in a weapon. Let's go to the R abilities. HP 40 points and boost physical ability potency 36 points. This is the same as Amaran's Claws. And, and this is right away two of the best our abilities that we can see in the game they work in every scenario 10 out of 10 our abilities but the, the, the weapon doesn't stop there it has even more 540 physical non-elemental damage with crit with only 4 ATBs but also it reduces the attack of the enemy and it can go up to high so if you have overboost 6 with two hits you can get my, their magical attack really really low you receive almost no damage but even better <laughs> if you have hp then you also reduce physical defense this is a combination of mad minute combined with hard edge combined with a weapon that does damage in a single place but it doesn't stop here it also have the new meta of having cure that works for everyone. This heals, this buff, sorry, heals, debuffs, and does DPS in the best possible way. This, this is a, this is the new era, season two. This is season two of Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Like I have no doubt. Now, Zack has become the best companion to play with Sephiroth or with um, Cloud and then a healer. This is absolutely mind-blowing. This is beautiful. Um, I will totally recommend this weapon if you are, well, if you're a whale, you have the weapon already before watching the video for sure. And if you are like a low spender, this is worth considering, but I will reflect on that at the end of the video. Now, Bramble Spine. This is the same weapon that um, in the past we have seen the Pumpkin Lampos from uh, Glenn. So I'm going to bring the database again. Uh, the Pumpkin Lampo used to have 476 uh, physical attack, 465 magical attack, and then 254 healing. The thing about the Pumpkin is that the R abilities were physical attack and boost ability potency boost ability potency is not so good now this one has boost healing and boost magical defense so as a secondary weapon this is fantastic because we don't have as far as i remember any other weapon that boosts heal plus also magical defense like i'm trying to look for it now in the database and uh, I don't think we have heal and magical defense. I might be wrong. I will confirm this later. Now, for a sub weapon, this is beautiful. Plus, it has the physical attack increase. So then it can pair perfectly with the gun, the weapon that we just saw before. It can pair with Cloud. It can pair with Sephiroth. Let's remember, Matt is a healer, and he just became probably my favorite unit in the game because now he can buff the party well don't know i don't know this is too early to say i i, I was like jumping the gun but also the new meta is here this gun also allow us to use cure materia in all the units the new meta is here this is season two season two is here this is the confirmation that we are in a new era I what do I think about this banner? Well, the outfit, the outfit looks incredible. Zack looks like 
beautiful like it's a completely party time red for new year <laughs> with a beautiful blue tie the flower that it even moves the the hair looks great um i think it's one of my favorite outfits the the boots reminds us of like torto martens probably um yeah he looks beautiful i think um my top outfits are lucia of course then iris with the snow outfit and this one i think are at the same level he looks great like a super gentleman and the abilities is the best abilities that we can see in the game hp plus boost physical ability potency sack now has become with this banner one of the best units in the game um, because it helps your physical dps and probably you are playing physical dps because probably you're playing cloud wow this is huge now let's also review the well first first of all should you pull in this banner um if you are a free-to-play player here comes the <laughs> here comes the fun we are in season two and we are already seeing this what is the future going to bring us probably something better so if you skip this banner if you are a free-to-play player i will then be worried because I'm almost sure we're gonna see things that are even better than these ones. Also, these weapons are going to be part of the other banners that will come in the future. The only thing that you might miss is the outfit, which is a great outfit to be honest. But um, but the weapons will be there, so no need to rush. You can wait. Uh, you can wait. Don't need to go crazy. If you are a whale or a low spender, <laughs> as I said before, you probably you have the weapon already maxed out because it's just so good. I'm personally going to go up to page two in this banner. Um, we, the weapons are gonna come in the future, uh, but I, I will see depending on how lucky I, I am. The thing I don't like, the thing I like and, the, and I don't like is that if I'm really unlucky i will get all the copies of this one <sighs> and i'm not sure i think Zack is going to be a unit that i will use if i have this weapon but um, using matt as a buffer and a healer well probably he will then be a full healer right he will be enough healer i will need to think about this one like sometimes i think that matt could become the best healer in the game other times I think it's way too many things to do. Like you, you have for only 40 TVs, and if you are gonna heal, and you are also going to buff, then you have way too many things to do. But maybe you have time to buff a little bit. And um, with this buff and this one that decreases the physical defense, what a combination! What a combination! This is beautiful times ahead. Now, yeah. So in a nutshell, free-to-play players don't be afraid of not pulling. It's fine. Uh, more weapons will be will come into the game and they, they will this will appear in, in the draws so you are safe whales and low spenders i think is really worth considering in my opinion now you do you as i always say let's learn together tell me your reasons why you want to pull or why you don't want to pull let's share knowledge let's share opinions so that we all learn together and we all become better players now i also want to review the new uh, summon Bahamut is here, baby. Bahamut is here, and the weapons they also deserve <laughs> a special mention. The stats are poor, they are not great, but these weapons we can farm so we can go up to over boost 30. And let me tell you, SPT material is not great, but the R abilities are beautiful. Magical defense. 40 points plus magical attack 24 i think i think this is a perfect sub weapon i think this is one of the sub weapons that will always help you when you're fighting against magical attackers of course now this one it might be even better because magical defense and hp if you are fighting against um magical attackers and you already have your magical weapon setups and you already max out the magical stat as a sub weapon this is also fantastic so if you have stamina and maybe you don't have these weapons yet ma max out i would say ignore these other weapons 
they are not as good, these ones are way better because these ones are quite situational. Either you are fighting against water or you are not. But here, as long as they use magic, that's it. This helps you a lot. And same with this one. This one in particular is the one I like the most. Wow. Also, um, important thing, like we are going to see, uh, we are seeing now the trial. We will see Bahamut coming to COP in the future, maybe in a month, maybe in like six weeks. So in a way, if you, if you are, if you don't have time, if you are like a casual player, it's fine. Yes, uh, wait for when Bahamut comes in, in co-op and use your energy there. Don't go crazy now because it will come. But if you are a min maxer, going for Bahamut today on the first days and maxing out the weapons maybe is the difference that you need to help you clear the solo um, dungeon in Hell House Crash because Magical Defense could really give you the upper hand. These are beautiful times ahead. I'm so, so excited. And with that, let's do one pull, three pull, let's pull, and let's see what happens. Then the next video will be me pulling on Sack Banner. Well, I don't know if it's going to be the next video. I'm going to wait a bit. Um, it's Christmas, and uh, I don't know if how much I'm going to be playing the game. But honestly, I think we're in a new era, and I'm so excited. We got the rumors that guilds are coming. I'm really excited about guilds, and the most important thing is that I'm excited that the game is still alive, that we are here together playing the game, enjoying Final Fantasy VII, making new friends. This is like beautiful. This is really beautiful, and I hope that you're enjoying the game and taking something positive out of it, because at the end of the day, it's just about having fun and, 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 and all the friends that we make along the way. And it's about fever! Fever! <laughs> All right, two mats, two mati mati mats. What is this? Prime number. They want me to become a healer, right? And a slick beetle. Boom. I think I have them, all of them already, but it's fine. It's just beautiful. All right, that was the free pool. Um, by the way, I don't think this is worth it. Um, I don't think this is worth it because for three thousand, I would rather go here. To this banner. Now let's review the store as well. The store, okay, 500 for one five star. I think this is quite good. This one is always tricky because you can change for any weapon, and then if you keep this voucher, at some point the weapons are gonna come in the list, and then you will be able to change them. This one, I particularly, me personally, I will always go for these ones because I always want Mithrilor um, and it's the only thing where I always spend money. I'm not going to go for this one. I'm not going to go for this or for that one. Oof, wow. Now, what do we have here? What did I just say? I just said I always go for Mithrilor. So they, they put me here in a tough situation. Uh, um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going for this one. Uh, Cloud and Tifa, for sure. So $60 plus this one, 5000 I think I'm going for those two for sure, and then the rest I will think about those. Um, yeah, I'm not in a rush about the other units, but I want my Cloud and my Tifa to be top tier. Um, I don't like this combo. If it was Lucia and Zack, I will go for it, or Lucia and Sephiroth, but I don't use Matt, uh, Barrett. Sorry. Barrett is really good, by the way. It's just that I don't use him because I, I only have the... Um, the best weapons. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, <laughs> I only have the enemy launcher, which is one of the best weapons, and the other one, the well, you know what I'm talking about, the other uh, weapon. Anyhow, 
but I don't have the W machine. I don't have all the other good weapons that Barret has. And because of that, I, I'm not using him. But he's a really good unit if you have Heavy Hauser. This is the one that I have with Enemy Launcher. But I don't have his other weapons uh, that, you know, debuff. Fish. The W machine is fantastic. But, well, it used to be fantastic. Now we have something better. Like, let's remember that this banner... Sorry, I'm... I'm, I'm I just want to go again through this one because it's season two. Look, if you hit twice, you can defend, you can debuff physical defense down to high. <sighs> this is this is this is insane. This is insane. <laughs> um, right. So, anyhow, that's, um, let's continue the review of the shop. Uh, I got these ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that's what I was saying. Again, um, you know, the shop is is there, but you know, always be mindful when, when you are spending your money in, in a game. It's Christmas, and you know, like enjoy your holidays, and I hope that you have a beautiful day. As I always say, if you find this uh, content useful, if you like this type of content, uh, please throw a like and subscribe. That will really help me make better content in the future. I will really, really appreciate your support. Thanks a lot for watching. Until the next time, cheerios! Play us out! Play!